Okay guys, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some Parmesan cheese, uh, but it's up to you because I also like uh, the fresh kind and this is if you don't have the fresh one. So uh, today I'm gonna be using the fresh uh, cheese. It's called queso fresco in Spanish and I'm also gonna use this uh, sour cream. Uh, we are gonna need, I have my sticker here, boneless beef shock para machaca and basically what you're gonna do to this, uh, to the beef, you are just gonna, hold on, this tripod is not working with me, okay there you go. So what you're gonna do, you are just gonna break the beef like this so you can get little strings of beef yeah you can cut it you can do whatever you want with the beef but that's just the way we want it we always eat it like that you are also gonna need uh, some uh, oil uh, pepper and lemon and pepper seasoning salt we are gonna use tortillas corn tortillas and we are also gonna use tomatoes uh, lem um, lemons and this is lettuce. I don't want to move it a lot because it will make a lot of noise. So we're going to use lettuce and uh, you can use whatever sauce you want. I'm going to use this one, Salsa del Pato, because I'm too lazy today and I don't want to make my own sauce. But I have the recipe and I'm going to put the link below. And I'm also going to use this um, onion. I'm gonna start cutting it right now and I will show you in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with my onion, I'm just gonna cut it really, really thin slices like this. Well, that wasn't too thin, but um, I'm gonna put all my slices in a bowl. Uh, I'm gonna cut everything, so I'm gonna just uh, put them apart and I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Now we'll show you, um, well let me show you real quick, um, I think this this is going to be good for it, so I'm going to put it right here, all of my onions, and um, this part was too big, I'm going to also add some pepper, and I'm going to add uh, my zesty lemon pepper uh, seasoning salt, just a tiny bit so it can taste more like lemon. I'm going to add um, black pepper, you, you kind of want to be generous with this one because it gives it a great, great, great um, flavor to the onions and the onions to the tacos. So I'm just going to get my um, lemon cut in here and I'm going to get the juices out like that. You can also add um, a little bit of water if you want to because um, you want it to be a little bit covered like at least three uh, one third of the onions you want them covered in the juice so it can um, blend all the flavors together but as long as the onions this is what you have to do okay so with our tomato what we're gonna do is already watch we are going to cut little slices also, um, it depends on your um, taste, if you love tomatoes you can do it uh, a little bit thicker, but um, I'm just going to do it like this, um, I'm gonna just going to use two tomatoes because um, I they always fall from my taco so it's just because uh, I like tomatoes, so I'm going to put them in a little thing because this is going to be for the end of the tacos. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lettuce and I'm going to um, make it uh, cut this way. And okay, so I'm going to start cutting little thin uh, pieces of my lettuce. Really, really uh, thin because they are going to be inside of the taco and you don't want to you don't want it to be like really uh, full and fluffy with the lettuce. So I think it's about uh, 10 to 12 leaves of uh, lettuce for us. 
because we love it. And I'm just going to put it on my um, plastic tray, I don't know what it's called, and my colador. And I'm just going to um, watch it again and um, just to, I don't know, to keep it clean. So, um, so that's how you want it. Uh, you can cut it as much as you want, but I'm going to do it like that. And I love, love the color of this lettuce. So, uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, my husband is helping me there with the meat. Let me show you real quick. Uh, this is what he's doing uh, with the uh, beef. And he already put the oil on the pan. So, it's here now. It's kind of high. But yeah. I will show you when we are ready to put our tacos. Okay guys, so our oil is ready. I'm going to take my tortilla and I'm going to take, uh, oh, not this one, because, oh, yeah, because this one is wet. I'm going to take the tortilla and I'm going to take the beef. Um, you want to be as generous as you want with the beef. So what I'm going to do, since it's already hot, I'm just going to put the tortilla in there like that. I know it's not healthy but oh my god this is the best tacos ever. And now what you're gonna do you're gonna take um, your tortilla like this and you're gonna close it. I think it was too much <laughs> oil. I'm sorry. But um, that's good. That's okay. Baby. Um, it will taste better. <laughs> Play. So you're gonna keep doing this. Uh, I probably will, ab will be able to fit around three tacos in this pan, and I will keep doing this, and I will show you when they're ready. It takes about a minute or two, uh, depending on how hard you want, how hard you want them, but it's probably around one minute or two. So I'm just gonna put it in there. Uh, after two minutes, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. Uh, Flip them, probably less. And um, yeah, I will show you when they're ready and ready to serve. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, so our tag is already. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a Ziploc and I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna cut a um, little hold hole on the bottom and one corner because it will be easier to serve the um, sour cream. You can use Mexican cream since it's more like diluted and has more, a little bit more flavor. And this one is not so sour. So I'm gonna put this aside while we wait for it. And here's our tacos. Obviously, there is more over there, but I'm just gonna show you this one's the first um, dish that I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna add some um, lettuce two each taco. Ah, that's hot. I don't know if you can see, but it's really, really hot. So I'm just gonna put the lettuce inside. Um, we are also gonna add, let me just put this ones here. We are also gonna add tomatoes. There. I like to put two slices of tomato in each taco but it's up to you you can use more you can use less I just I don't want it to break so I'm just gonna put two of them I'm also gonna get my um, onions that are over here and I'm gonna put a few slices in like that and I'm gonna oh my god it's so yummy so I'm gonna add that. Let me add my hands. Now we are gonna add some of the sour cream. I like to open it with the taco so it will be more inside. This is, you can decorate the way you want it. I just wanna add it in there. It's super duper good. So you just squish the um, bag. And you add your sour cream. So there it is. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna spread.
sprinkle all over the tacos mostly inside if you can um, and the next thing you do is you just add some um, some sauce uh, salsa you add the salsa that you want I'm gonna add my salsa but that's already told you right there and this is kind of spicy but not so much you can tolerate this one um, totally this is just to add a little bit more flavor you can also add some um, lemon and I'm gonna serve this with a glass of iced tea um, sweet tea yeah, I see sweet tea, whatever. So I'm just gonna put it in there. I'm gonna get a slice of lemon and I'm gonna see if it holds. So, yeah, guys, that's our food today. And my lemon is falling down. So, I hope you like this recipe. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video so I can keep posting more. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.